as mentioned, I want to run through one more example together. So let's get rid of, again, our code in here that's calculating our go button. And uh, the code that's inside here, all our hard work going bye-bye all at once. So I deleted something too much. Let's see, what did I delete? Yeah, we don't want to delete the function app. Let's get rid of this. And then get rid of this. And then inside, we don't need these elements. All right, so we've got just kind of our shell here. Um, so what I want to do is harken back to the Joel Hilton movie collection. I've downloaded a little file. I've created a little file here. I'm going to pull it up here. Of data that I've put in just a little JSON format. And so picture JSON being like a database, but in a, in a text format. That's the way I think about it. So it's got table a table it's got fields in the table it's got entries for those uh, fields it's got the values that go along with that field and it's got different rows so each of these acts like a row in the database and so json is just a good way to send data but in a in a text format all right so i've got this little file and you can go through if you want to you can dummy up some data um, doesn't need to be this many. I've just got five records here. But if you want to pause and type this in so it's exact, that's fine. Um, however you want to do it, we've got some data in here. All right, so I'm going to save this, close this. So I've got this little movie data.json file. Actually, I won't close it. I'll just minimize it. Okay, so I'm going to build a little site here. Um, what do we want to do? Let's let's. Uh, I'm going to build a function called movie list. So I want to list out all the movies in that JSON file. And as part of that, I'll return opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, semicolon in there. And this is going to return a few different things. One is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have a little header. So maybe like an H3 that says this is the uh, movie collection list all right and then I'm going to then put in a table so a table and this table will will uh, have in terms of the CSS um, the class let's see is it class name I think it's class name dot table let's try that and see what happens all right, so then in my table, I'm going to have a header tag, so T head. I'm going to have in there the different row or, or a row of the different headings that we have. So I'll create a, a header called title, and then we'll have a header called the year. Let's verify that I'm doing this right. So title, year, director, rating, category is how I'll do it. It doesn't need to be in the exact order that was in the database. Director, rating, and the last one was category, I think. Is that right? All right. So again, just proving this point, they don't need to be in the exact same order they are here. Um, category in my case I'm going to put last but it is going to pull from that data file all right if I save this I'm going to get an error and the error says adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag so we've seen this one a few times and then it says did you want a JSX fragment so we're returning we can't return multiple things out of a return we can only return one thing so all this stuff needs to be bundled together now we've built div tags around them, but again, at some point we used to call build what's called a React fragment in React. If I hover over this and I say quick fix, it says, do you want to wrap in a JSX fragment? And I say yes, it's just going to drop in these little uh, tags. So here's the opening tag and here's the closing tag. And they're just blank tags because we were just doing this so much of putting in a, a div. All right, so then the, the, they're now enclosed in the fragment, which means it's one thing, and then it doesn't like the, uh, can't find the name table. Close table. 
What would be wrong with that? Let me take this out for a second. I have a T head open, T head close, row, row. Are we good there? Okay, now it's fine. So let's save that. And then in our app tag, we can go in and say drop in a movie list component. Save that. And it's going to print out here's the movie collection list. I don't want it to be a little bit bigger, so let's do H2. H1 was kind of big. So let's try to H2 and see how that looks. Okay, that's a little better. So we've got our little table here. And I'm going to go put that back in. Is it table? What is it class name? I'm trying to remember now my CSS and say that this is a table. Save. That didn't make a bit of difference. So we'll leave it as is for now. And now I actually want to go in and pull the data from my, my little file that I've got. And so we can go and copy and paste in this data. So I could go and set up a const with this information, but I've already got it in this JSON format. And so what I'm going to do instead, in my notes, I was going to go in and, and show you how to copy it in here as a const. So const, movie list, whatever. Uh, and then drop in the data like we did in the last set of videos. Um, but just to save some time, I'm not going to do that. Let's let's go ahead and direct con uh, connect directly to the the JSON file. So let's figure out if we can see how to make that happen. So I'm going to come into my files. I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I have this saved. Grab this movie data .json and wherever you have it. I'm going to take and copy it into my project. I'll just drop it into the front end for now. Maybe. All right, so there's my movie data.json. I actually dropped it into my source folder. And so if I have it there in the front end, so I've got this file now. It's a movie data.json. How do I get that file into my app.tsx? And so I can come in here and I'm going to import that file by saying import. And then I can go out to the root, drop in, and I can see that it doesn't see it. It can't see that file anywhere, right? And so I must not have it in the right place. I can see an index. I can see logo.svg. So where am I seeing that? Isn't that part of this source folder? And so if I grab this movie data.json and move it into the source folder, make that move and then I go back to my dot here. So I say dot slash and then I'm back at the root. I wanna go pull in my movie data.json. If I hit enter on that, it'll go grab that file and bring it in to my, my program. All right, it does want a closing or a semicolon there at the end and if I save it, it'll drop one in there for me. Then I can go build a const that's gonna be visible for the whole uh, component here, the, the, the app component, I can build a const and call it, this is my movie data sample that is going to be equal to, uh, oh, I, I didn't give this a name. So this is import and I say uh, data, movie data, whatever I want to call it, uh, from and then go get it out of that file. So I go get the movie data out of the file, and then I can come in here and say, go to the movie data that I set up, and go get um, the, the information out of there from the JSON file. Now, if I go back to the JSON file, it's called movie data. So maybe I should name it something different here, movie data blah, to prove this point. So I say movie data blah, and then here I can say, go out to movie data and get the movie data. Oh, did I? This is the other one. <laughs> Let me modify it here. We're running out of time. Movie data blah. Save that. So then back to my app.tsx here, I would say movie data dot movie data blah. Okay, and that will go import the, the, the data from the JSON file into this object. And then we go into that object, grab the elements that we want out of it, and we store that in a const that we're going to use here within this app TSX file. Spencer out.